Hello, John Baker here again from Rotac Repair. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to change the rotary valve oil on your 582 engine. There's two videos in this series. One covers the engine that is spark plugs up facing the sky and one that covers the engines where the spark plugs are down facing the ground like on a Challenger. Make sure that of your engine mounting position, if it's spark plugs up, that's okay. If it's spark plugs down, go to the other video. Today I want to talk to you about your rotary valve oil. So here's the oil reservoir. We're looking at the level in it and you should be maintaining the level right up to here where it's marked on here with a little arrow. And we can see the oil across there. So we know the oil level is good. Now we've ran it 100 hours and we should be changing the oil in it at that point in time. So we'll go down, follow the hose down to the bottom. The carburetors are off this engine because this one's going to come apart. And I've already loosened off the clamp. I'm going to remove the hose. I have a little can there to catch the oil. And out comes the oil. Okay, it's running out of the hose coming from the reservoir and it's coming out of the rotary valve case. Okay, now we can see that there's that much oil in there already. So let's go back up the line again and let's look at the bottle. And look at that, it looks like it still has oil in it. So we'll take the top off and have a look inside. And no, it's empty. So what does that tell us? That tells us that besides looking at the level on the side of the bottle, we really should look inside and see that there's actually fluid there. Yeah, the oil can go down and you wouldn't know. The, the, uh, the dye in the oil has stained this bottle a little bit, so it actually looks like it has oil in it right now. So important note. So uh, check the oil in here once in a while visually, not just through there. Take the lid off and have a look inside. So the oil is all out now, well a little more will come out if we leave it longer. Procedure will be then, I already pre-cleaned the area of course so there wasn't any dirt. This is all clean, it goes back together, we'll tighten up the clamp. And then when we come back up to refill it, we're going to fill it with the two stroke oil that we burn in the engine, either with the oil pump or we mix in the gas. We want to use the same kind of two stroke oil. We're going to fill the uh, reservoir with the appropriate oil up to the right level. Now it's very important that you get the right amount of oil in it before you start it because if you start it with not enough oil in it you'll damage the crankshaft and also the rotary valve shaft which equals a whole bunch of money wasted. So measure out in a nice clean brand new measuring cup 310 milliliters of oil. You should pretty much get it all in there with the exception of a little bit. If you get 300 milliliters in there then you're going to know that it's, uh, it's full or very close to it. So now I have pre-measured in my measuring cup um, 310 milliliters of oil. So what we're going to do now is we've got all our lines hooked up again. The cap is going to come off, obviously. And now we're going to add oil. So if you watch the level in the bottle You'll see it when it gets up to the up near the top because it's stained a lot still. So it's coming up now. We can see it coming up. So we can actually we got enough staining off here. We can see the oil, but it still might be a better idea to have a new bottle on here one day. Okay, so now it's full, and you go, oh, my job is done. Look how much is left in here. This is where I mentioned before when you refill this, you need to be very patient because. The oil is way down at the bottom now. It self purges on the spark plugs up, so the oil come, the air I should say, comes out as the oil goes in. So here we're full again to the level, and we still have a lot of oil left. The air is coming out by itself, and the oil level is going down, so we're going to put more oil in. You need to be patient while you do this. So I'm still pouring oil in and it's staying at the full mark right now. There's still oil going in. 
So now it's uh, still air, the air is still bleeding out, self bleeding, because this is the spark plugs up. So this would be your typical engine that has a gearbox on it. Okay, I went a little over there, so we're going to leave it for a second. And uh, it, will, uh, it will go down all by itself. And see, now we don't have very much oil left, so this is good. So again, it's not going down right now. I know it will because I don't have enough oil in it yet. So I'm just going to be patient and wait a few minutes. Uh, I'm not going to keep going here with the video. But make sure that you get around 300 milliliters in it. And then you should be good. And when you're finished, of course, check for leaks wherever these connections were open because I washed the bottle. And, of course, the connection at the bottom. Make sure that, uh, that you've, uh, you've got it tight and it's not leaking at all because that's where we hooked it to change the oil. Okay, so there you go. That's the uh, way to refill the rotary valve oil reservoir. You're using two-stroke oil, the same oil that you use in the gas, whether it's got an oil pump um, or a premix. And again, it's on a 582 with the spark plugs up. Thanks very much for watching.